Hi there, this is Daniel Everson from Asana, and today I'm going to show you how you can uh, manage your company strategy or your team strategy and planning, um, how you can plan and manage and be on top of your objectives, your OKRs, uh, and build a pyramid of clarity uh, within your team or organization. So like any uh, good techie, what I've done is I have uh, created a little diagram on what how I actually want to track our objectives. Um, so naturally, I want to see the different objectives that my team or company are steering towards. I want to see for each of them, are we on track, off track, maybe a bit of commentary. I want to see sort of in a quantifiable way, you know, how far away are we from uh, completing them. And of course, I want my strategy to be tied to action. Um, so I want uh, this dashboard to really be linked to all of the work that we're doing inside of Asana. Now, there are a lot of uh, good guides as well online in the Asana Academy, for example, on how to manage OKRs. I'm going to show you in a slightly different way uh, based on uh, some customer requests. Um, there's also some really good lively discussions on our community forum uh, on what people have uh, done there, especially uh, Sebastian's got a really nice article on there on sort of the history of the OKRs and things like that as well. But as I said, this is going to be a little bit different uh, to how you might have seen it uh, before. Okay, so I'm inside of Asana. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, counterintuitively maybe, I'm going to not start with creating the portfolio dashboard that we're going to use to visualize our uh, company strategy and plan um, or the team uh, progress towards our objectives. I'm going to actually start with creating the underlying um, projects that's needed uh, to track this work. So let's say that I've got three objectives. I've got international expansion. I've got uh, an objective called show customer love. And let's say I've got an objective number three that is uh, ensure a strong culture during company growth, for example. Just three objectives that I just made up. So let's say I want to track those. So I'm going to create three projects uh, for that. But the importance here is that the work itself is not necessarily going to be tracked in these projects. They're going to actually be tracked in underlying projects. And I'm going to show you how all of this hangs together. So I'm going to, for the first, I'm going to create three projects, one for each of my three objectives. So I assume that you have familiarity with Asana. And so this is not going to necessarily show you how to use Asana, but just how you're going to set it up for a goal and objective planning and tracking. So I'm going to create a project for objective number one. So I'm going to say objective one. Uh, which we said was international expansion. I'm going to put it into a team that makes sense. So I've got a team, for example, called staff that all my employees are in. I want everybody to participate in this process. I'm going to make it public. So now I'm going to create um, a couple of milestones on what it is that we need to achieve the key um, requirements for objective number one. And so this will actually, in most cases, link to work that's already in Asana. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So maybe I have one that is uh, doing some billboards in Tokyo. So I'll call it launch billboards in Tokyo. I've got a um, got one called um, run a digital ad campaign in Japan. Run digital ad campaign in Japan. Um, and I've got one which is to, let's say, um, get a new uh, marketing person in APAC. So I'll say um, hire new APAC marketing um, lead. Right. So let's say for the moment, these are just the three things I've got. I'm going to make them into milestones. Right. So you know how to do that. So I'm going to mark them as milestones. Now, here's the thing. If there's no underlying projects here, I could manage these as individual tasks, click them off when they're done, or create subtasks in here. But hopefully for a lot of these you know, big pieces of work uh, to meet objective number one, there's going to be an existing project, right? So uh, for the launch billboards in Tokyo, I'm actually going to multi-home this milestone right into the project, Tokyo. 
So I've got billboards Tokyo. So now this objective, um, sorry, this milestone sits in under that project as well. I'm going to do the same with the run digital ad campaign in Japan because uh, I've got a project for that. So digital ad campaign Japan and hire new APAC marketing lead. So I'm going to do the same. Uh, APAC marketing Canada pipeline because I have projects to track all of this, right? Now, just to see how that looks, right? I can now go into the Billboards Tokyo project, right? And I can see here that we have uh, the milestone. Now, I might just move them to the bottom of the project so that when people are done, they can check off this milestone, right? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now, this is objective number one. I'm going to create the same for objective number two. Objective number two was uh, show customer love. I'll put that in staff as well. And I have some work that I'm going to either create or link to or that I want to track in just a pure milestone, which is maybe run customer appreciation event. Uh, there's going to be um, launch social media campaign and maybe um, run on tour event in London and run on tour event in New York. All right, let's say that that's it. Again, I'm going to make those milestones and I might link them into projects. Cool. So now we have objective number two done. We'll do objective number three. Uh, which was ensure a strong culture uh, at growth or at scale as we're growing the company fast. And again, I'll create some milestones here, uh, which I'm not going to do um, in this particular case. Now, now I can create the um, portfolio. So I go into the portfolios. And at the bottom, I can create a new portfolio. So I'll say um, our um, key objectives or our strategy for this year, key priorities, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to add my objectives. So I've got objective one. Objective two and objective three. Now, right now, there's not a lot in here apart from I can see how the um, tasks are linking up, but this will all change as we start actually working on these objectives. So let's have a look at the international expansion. Okay, we can go into that particular project, uh, we can start uh, check, checking off some milestones. Make sure we can see all of them. All right, so we can see where we're at. Uh, we can also provide an update. So we can say we're going well in particular in Japan. Say Japan's on fire. Set status to on track. All right. Then we might go into the um, um, our key objectives again. I'll just favorite it. All right. So that we've got it here. Um, and we might go into the objective number two project. So maybe we'll run one customer appreciation event. We want to show all of them, provide an update, need more customer events, we really need more events. 
reference to more than a needle. And we'll say it's at risk. Right? So now you can see um, that we can slowly start tracking exactly what's going on. And if you want to, you can say, change the portfolio view from progress type task to milestones. And now you can see that um, we've hit um, two out of three milestones for objective number one. However, we've only hit one milestone for objective number two. Now, as a little bit of a pro tip, you can also go into the actual objective project um, and you can actually set due dates for these, right? So maybe if we we're supposed to have run a, a um, on-tour event in London, uh, maybe last week, right? We can say last week. Maybe this one was supposed to run a while ago, right? You can sort of track that as well. And that becomes quite interesting um, because when you then look at your um, portfolio, you'll now see that you've missed a few milestones, right? So you can have a conversation uh, around that, right? You can also add priorities and other custom fields so that you can have a, uh, when you, if you have a team meeting, you can focus on just, you know, the high priority objectives if you have a lot of objectives to go through. Um, so that's basically how you are tracking your uh, company or team objectives um, and strategy inside of Asana and can start building out a pyramid of clarity. Hopefully that was useful. Thank you.